Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene and today I have a book haul. Um, I keep saying these are unexpected, which they kind of are, but I'm always going to go in the store looking at book sections. So <laughs> I usually always find something. Now I must admit this one is a smaller load, but I still found some things. First, I'm going to start with a book that doesn't belong to me because I didn't buy it, but I got it from my local library. And this book is In Search of a Prince by Tony Shiloh. It is a Christian novel. And yes, um, I started reading it in the library and I said, I'll pick it up. So I kept, it kept catching my eye because the cover is stunning. So I'll let y'all know how that go. But then, of course, I went to uh, Goodwill. And I got Moments Together for Couples, Devotionals for Drawing Near to God and One Another. This is what it looks like. And of course, this is an old one. Y'all know I always stumble across old books. So I believe this is probably like in the 90s. From Carl and Beth Anderson. 97. Yeesh. That's a long time. So yeah, this is an old book. It just kept in really, really good condition. So that's awesome. I love when I score like that. Yeah, so ah, I can't wait to read this with me and the hubby. So we got a devotion for us in our time together. This one I am really excited to somebody left something in here. Oh. Oh, I guess a personal note from the author. That is so cool. Why would someone give this away? This is at the Goodwill. Um, how awesome is that he has his own notepad with his name up there? But I guess his name is William Searles. Searles? And the book is The Reason, a novel. And again, cover caught my attention. Uh, this is actually a personal early release copy which is really awesome and this is it looks brand spanking new and it's dated from 2012 really good condition and that's when it was released he actually signed it wow that is cool really really cool absolutely love your name i want to thank you for entering the giveaway for the reason i hope you enjoy this journey into Christian fiction and that the book puts a smile on your face. Thank you again and God bless. Guess I got the little bookmark here. Okay, okay. Again, I don't know why. I guess maybe she read it more than one time. I don't know. But I didn't even see that at first. So that's crazy. But yes, um, advanced reader's copy. <laughs> really good condition. Like I said, the cover caught my eye and I can't wait to read this. I can't wait. All right. Next, I have Autumn Skies, A Bluebell Inn Romance. Um, this is also a Christian novel, of course. And this is what this one looks like. Um, then anything really stuck out to me about this one, except for the fact that it was in really good condition. And I believe when I checked the date of it, it was like a 2021 release or something. So I was like, okay, a newer read. So I can't wait to dive into that. And then I found... Um, this forgiving what you can't forget. It's like a little workbook. Actually, it's a DVD to go to this. It's my second book getting like this, right? Without a DVD. But I feel like I, can, I should be able to work and function without it because I hope and pray the idea is to just get you one closer to God and help you to get over whatever you can't forgive and forget. So... Um, and one more, which I read today. This is um, Daily Guide Post 2016. This is the soft leather cover. Really good condition. Again, 2016. And let me tell you what's interesting about this one. Because for some reason, something was like, just go to today's date, right? And today's date actually falls on the same date it did in 2016. So I'm like... So I can just, you know, I'm going to try my best to, you know, read consistently because I am fasting this week. Um, so you guys will get to see that vlog about that. 
But I've already started reading this and I already was blessed. I have another a Daily Guide post and I've been seeing a lot get donated lately. And I like them. I really do like them. I like the little stories and whatever. And y'all know how I feel. Like I said, don't make that your all. Take the scripture out and go to your Bible and read and research and, and do some more, you know, studying of God's word that way. Don't just do the devotion and that's it. But those are my books right now. So now I get to add them to my collection on the shelf and give you guys any updates on any reads that I do have because I do plan on reading a lot this week. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.